All right, in the previous video, we looked at like what a political state is. It's sort of like in um, government terms, it's the, the community that's actually being governed. So in order to actually be officially defined as a political state, you have to meet four different pieces of criteria. So there's four characteristics of a political state. If you can meet these four uh, characteristics, you're actually defined in political terms as a state. If you can't meet these characteristics, you're something else. So what are they? The first is government. Um, in an area, you have to have some sort of organized system of rule. Um, if you can say within your area that you have an organized system of rules and regulations, then you do have a government and you've met the first criteria of being a political state. The second criteria is population. There has to be people within that area to actually be governed. It's kind of silly to have a government if you don't have a population to actually govern. So if you have people and you have a government, you have met the first two criteria, the first two characteristics of being a political state. In addition, you also have to have a territory. So what does that mean? It means your area with a government and with a population has to also have defined borders that separates you from other areas, right? And other political states. So if you have a government, you have people and you have borders, you have met the first three characteristics of being a political state. The last one, tough word to say, is called sovereignty. In order to be a true political state, the area in question has to have absolute authority, final say, complete decision making over the lawmaking for the people in its area. So you have to have within your state, within your area, 100% absolute power to make all the rules and regulations for the people living in your area, right? So again, the four characteristics are you have to have a government, you have to have people within the government, you have to have a defined territory, and within those borders, that particular government overseeing those people has to have 100% authority to make uh, decisions for the people living in that community. And if you can meet those four criteria, you officially are classified in political terms as being a state.